by making it an appearance setting, just like font size and spacing, you won't have to keep moving actual line segments as your layout changes. So in this document right here, I have all my text already on paragraph styles. And what I want to do is put a line above or below these inside subtitles. So I'm going to double click on that paragraph style. And I'm going to make sure that preview is checked so I can see what's happening. Then over here on the left side, I'm going to look at paragraph rules. So the first thing you need to do is check this box. And we can see our rule above there. And if we change to rule below and check the box again, we can see that. So I'm going to go back to my rule above. And I'm just going to uncheck the box to turn that off. I'm going to do a little bit of adjustment with the rule below. So I'll switch back to the rule below selection. And I'm going to change the thickness of the line. And I'll change the color just so it's easy to see. I can change the tint right here, or even the type of the stroke. I can define the width as the column or text. So in this case, it's only going to underline as far as the text reaches across that column. So I'm going to increase the offset here so I can see this a bit better. And I already have a space after on my subtitles, so I was already planning ahead for these. If you don't have that space after, just go back to indents and spacing. Give yourself a space after or adjust what you have to accommodate your paragraph rule. I'm going to switch this back to column because that's what I was after. The other options here we have are right or left indent. And you can see those do pretty much exactly what we expect them to. So you can get extremely precise sizing, alignment, spacing, and you don't have to keep moving line segments that you've drawn as your text changes. So I'll click OK on this. And then if we go into preview mode, we can see these three nice lines here. And if our layout changes, like if we delete this text, it moves right with the paragraph. So again, this is part of our paragraph style. It's a setting on the paragraph. It's not a shape. It's not any separate item. It's already programmed right in my paragraph styles. Anytime I choose some new words to be a subtitle and I apply this, it's going to bring that line with it. So that's how to do paragraph rules inside paragraph styles in InDesign.